Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to look at actually how to do unit conversions. Now I'm not going to talk about theory or why these things are the way they are. You're going to have to find another video for that. I'm going to show the process. This is skill based. We're going to set up ratios. We're going to interpret a problem, but I want to start with this map. Remember, when you have a mass, we work with masses in chemistry in the lab. You're going to find massive things. You need to get to moles before you can do anything else. So we're going to do a problem that takes us from a mass of a material to the moles of material, and then we can actually figure out the number of particles in that sample of material. My conversion factors are shown. There are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole. Doesn't matter what it is, molecules, atoms, uh, cars, whatever. And then our mass to mole ratio is the formula weight of that compound. So we're going to use this map to get uh, from point A to point B. So in our problem here, how many molecules, that's what I want to know, are in this mass of sucrose. And here's the formula for sucrose. So we're going to go from a mass to moles to molecules. Remember, molecules and moles are not the same thing. And you have to go in order. I must go from a mass to moles first and then go over to my particles. So we're going to set up a ratio to do this. This is called dimensional analysis, but essentially we're using ratios with conversion factors to get from one unit to the other. So our algebra is we start with 77 grams of sucrose, C12H22O11. And I use a t-chart to help get units in the right spot. I want to cancel out grams, so that's going to go on the bottom, and I want to convert two moles, so that goes on top. One mole of a substance is equal to its formula weight, so we take carbon's mass from the periodic table, divide or multiply by 12, hydrogen's mass times 22, and oxygen's mass times 11, and that gives us a mass of 342 grams. I'm rounding, uh, so follow whatever decimals you need to use. If you're doing sig figs, make sure you're using sig figs, all that. So here we go, we have an operation, grams over grams cancels, 77 times one, and then divided by 342 gives me 0 0.23 moles. This unit, 0.23 moles, is equal to 77 grams. They mean the same thing. We've just used this ratio, one to 342, to convert from one unit to the other. So I've done this first conversion. I've gone from mass to moles, here, we've taken the mass divided by the formula weight to get to moles. Now, we're going to go from moles to particles. So we know we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. But let's set up a ratio. I'm going to carry this forward. I've got 0. Point, so now we're doing step two. We have 0 0.23 moles of material. I'm going to set up another ratio just using that value. I want to get rid of moles. I'm going to cancel that out. And I want to change to molecules. How many molecules? So we're going to put our unit up here. And our ratio, we know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of things. So we're actually going to multiply these out, right? Two quantities next to each other. And on your calculator, if you grab your calculator, you're going to do times, and I use parentheses when I do this, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, and hit equals, and now we have a quantity, we have 1.36 times 10 to the 23rd power. Your calculator might show 1.36e23, they mean the same thing. And this is molecules, because moles have canceled, moles are gone, molecules. So we have taken this quantity, 77 grams, converted it to moles, and then converted it to molecules. And that's dimensional analysis, using ratios to convert from one quantity to another using conversion factors. Going from mass to moles, you use a formula weight here. Going from moles to particles, you use Avogadro's number here. Uh, hopefully that's helpful, hearing that process talked out. Um, I'll post another video at some point doing stoichiometry, going from quantity to quantity or material to material, but in general, if you can set up ratios, uh, you will be good with your conversions. Show your units, show where things cancel out so you can track mistakes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.